morning everyone it's Saturday morning and I'm up and around and getting busy I um, I want to take a moment to talk to you guys um, about you know some things that happened this week that were kind of a step back for me but I overcame it and that is um, That is how I pushed through on, on many days. So you guys know that I was canning up creamy Mexican tortilla soup that is made out of lentils this week. And that was my project for the week. And I got three rounds of seven done. So that would be, what, 21? 15, 15, 15. Yeah, 21 jars of it put on the shelf. But in the process, um, so round two, two jars didn't seal, and then round three, four jars didn't seal. So that was a total of six jars that didn't seal. And so I was like, what am I doing wrong with this, all right? What is it that is um, preventing these jars from sealing? And so I checked the jars themselves and I realized that some siphoning was going on and I wasn't like dropping temperature really quick or bringing temperature up real quick, which is a big uh, reason why siphoning happens. Um, I don't know what was causing the siphoning, but cowgirled up <laughs> that's what I call it cowgirl up which is you know you can soak for a little bit all right allow yourself that time to soak but then cowgirl up and get busy and so I took all six of the jars yesterday after I had done round three of canning and I got six jars that did not seal I decided to tear the jars apart Clean them up really good, refill them, wipe the rims off, and go through the whole process again, which is something I generally don't do when jars don't seal. And the reason is because when it doesn't seal, sometimes it's just one jar, okay? A lot of times it's just one jar, one or two jars. And I can eat that up, so I don't reprocess. But this time I did because it was six jars, okay? There's no way I wanted to eat six jars of that soup. There's no way I could have eaten six jars of that soup. So I decided that I'm going to clean up the jars. I'm going to reprocess it. And we're going to see what happens, okay? So yesterday I did that. Along with going through my house and cleaning my house. I got most of the house cleaned yesterday. I worked my way through this frustration is what I did. And... Guess what? When I pulled the jars out of the canner last night, I let them sit on the counter, didn't touch them. And then all six of them sealed. All six of them. So, and there was no siphoning this time. What did I do different? Well, this is what I did different. You know you're supposed to do it in headspace on the jars. I gave it a little bit more space. And what I discovered was is that the siphoning didn't happen. So my one inch headspace Be careful, no! No, no, baby. No, no, okay? No, no. You saw me. <laughs> One of the kids in the neighborhood tried to pet my dog, and I didn't want, my dog has a tendency to bite, so that's why I'm out here. I'm watching him like a hawk, okay? 
And so the kids in the neighborhood have to learn not to, not to pet my dog. But anyway, it worked out. It worked out. And so I was blessed yesterday. And you're asking me, why can't your dog uh, be pet by the kids? Well, Spice was a rescue from the pound many years ago because of his biting tendencies. And because I work with behavioral children in the school district, I took him on. And so I have set rules and grounds around Spice to ensure that he doesn't bite anyone. Now, in his life, he has bitten two people with me. And both of those people, guess what? They snuck up on me on, on my on my backside. It was two men, two different at two different times, two different men. And I was out walking in the dark. And they walked up behind me. And Spice led into them. <laughs> so he's doing his job, okay? Nobody can sneak up on me when I'm walking Spice in the dark. Because he'll let them have him. And he tore up their ankles. He tore them up. Am I proud that he bit them? I am. Because I don't know what those two men were doing. I do know that the police showed up. And the police asked them in a private conversation, why are they walking? Why are you walking behind a woman like that while she's out walking her dog? And so the police officer took him away. And I don't know, don't know the results of it. I just know that they were had a conversation with this with both men and told them, stop following women. Her dog did what her dog was supposed to do. So anyway, that was not a conversation I wanted to have this morning, but it did happen. All right. So when you get frustrated with something that you're working on and things aren't going your way, I have learned that if you just pity yourself for a little while and then cowgirl up and get busy and redo it if you need to, then most times Things will work out for the better. You guys be blessed. Because I know I am.